What's up, guys? This is AK Dynasty Fam Bam. Boom! Guess who stepped in the room? Mr. AK Dynasty Fam Bam. And yes, I'm coming to you today because I have some situations going on that I've seen on YouTube that's really bothering me. It's really puzzling me. It's really getting to me. It's really making me feel some type of way. And the only reason I say this is because it's a really touchy situation. And I don't like when I see people dealing with certain things that is touchy, be it like my sexual preference is, is, is a woman. I am a lesbian. I am. I am a lesbian. So basically, I'm actually sitting here talking to Dumbo. Dumbo, I know you're going through your breakup. In time, in due time, it, you will heal, trust me, because... I'm in my 30s, and I've been where you've been, trust me. And heartbreak is a hard situation to recover from. And I know you you feeling down. I know you feeling stressed. I know you feeling like, God, dang, I, I, I had her, and I thought she was the one. I thought she was it. But you're young. Trust me. You have all the time in the world. You have all the time in the world. only reason I say this, Domo, is because I've been married, and usually when you have your own mindset and your own take on things when it comes to relationships, you will have a better understanding of why it's best to take your time, and once you look back on this situation, once you really feel fully heal from this stuff, from this heartbreak, you will most definitely thank yourself for not actually crossing that line too soon and too early. Like, sometimes you'd be in love with a person. But that's your first love. That's the first person that you felt like you love. But I've been married to, I, I married, I was married to my ex-wife, but I was with her for going on almost four years. We, we were girlfriends for like three. Then we decided to get married on that three year mark. We lasted four years as far as our marriage. And it was ups, downs. We were going through all kinds of emotional things. And the woman that I was married was, she never, she never dated a lesbian. So it's like, it was something new. And with that being said, if you're dealing with a female and you somewhat turning her out, you don't really know what those skeletons in her closet might bring up. You know what I mean? She might still have a feeling for a guy. She might still, you know, want to be with a dude. She might, you know, it's so many different things that go on in the back of your head. That you already know the answer to and you just like one day you might wake up and this chick might be gone because she might decide to just basically switch back over or whatever. And that really wasn't my case because I'm a type of person that I shock myself when I actually propose to her because I'm the type that don't really like relationships. I like to sweep a female off her feet and then once I do that, I back off because really I don't want nobody to get close to me like that you know when you do have heartbreak it's hard to heal it's hard to come off of a heartbreak you know it's hard to just basically recover you know what i mean because if you're scared you're scared so i understand your plight i understand it wholeheartedly and it's it's really hard to continue your life knowing that you had something that you felt the person was basically mutually giving themselves to you unconditionally without any restraints, without any, you know, because I could tell you really loved her. <clears throat> but on the other end, I can see that it wasn't reciprocated. And usually dealing in relationships, regardless if it's a heterosexual relationship or a lesbian relationship, trans man, trans woman, whatever, a heart is a heart. And if you've been hurt before, it's you don't know how to basically recover or you haven't fully healed and you just throw yourself back out there you end up tending having the tendency to hurt somebody else and i don't know if chrissy was in it for her own personal gain or for the clout but it, it is what it is you gotta heal you gotta heal because there's so many people out here rooting for you older lesbians are out here rooting for you i'm way old i know i'm way older than you i got you by about 10 years and the reason why I say that, I'm basically in the same boat as you. I have my daughter. You know what I mean? Like, my daughter is about to be 13. 
your child is going to be there for you. Your child don't want to see you hurt. Your child want to see you happy. Your child don't want to see you sad, you know. Your child want to be your world. Your child is your world. Your child is the person that will have your back. Even though he can't talk right now, he can feel your hurt. He can feel your emotions. He can feel all of that. So all that energy, just basically put majority of that, that, that sadness, that hurt, that pain, turn it over and change it into love and love on that baby right now because that's the only way that energy that you have that hurt, that pain is going to really suffice. That's the only way it's going to basically leave your heart right now because you're hurt. You, 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 we know you hurt. I knew you was hurt prior to you coming out with all these other videos. But it's like you will have to basically be real with yourself to say, hey, this is what I'm going through. And I need to go ahead and correct the situation so I can be better for my child. Because you are the best thing that has happened to YouTube as far as when it comes to being a lesbian. Because we really don't see too many people with your kind of heart. You're always happy. I could tell by the vibe even when you went to go see the Ace family how you were. And when Chrissy was somewhat standoffish about it, like she was really more dry compared to your uplifting and happy, you know, aura that you bring around people when you do go visit or when you do go be around people. So all I'm saying is this, just live your life, man. You got so much talent. You got so much to live for. That beautiful son, you got, you got your son to live for. You know what I'm saying? So you can't let nobody mess with your vibe. You can't let nobody kill your vibe. And I know you want to vent so bad, but it's best to just leave that stuff alone because all it is is going to basically make people form their own judgments about something. And sometimes if you're mad or you're angry, you speak out of anger. I know I do. I done dealt with that social media situation before where I ended up tending to go to social media to air out the way I feel. And people have their own judgment. Some people hate me. Some, some people hated my ex. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's best to just handle that stuff accordingly in privacy because some people don't have your best interests at heart. They just want to know your business. And with you being a lesbian, I'd rather you basically go to someone you really trust because it's a lot of people out here that don't understand that are kids. They don't understand a lesbian relationship. All they know about is that play play lifestyle, that play play. But they can't even afford to live on their own without being with their parents. You know, they don't, they've never been out of their own state. So without them paying, they, they, their parents paying for it. So majority of people that have opinions about your lifestyle are not even old enough to have an opinion about their own. So it's like, you need to basically set aside something, a diary to write your feelings down. I know you probably have one, but it's best to let your feelings flow through that diary and let just your, your feelings out. Because you got to be who you want to be. And I know you want to be that person that you had told us that you wanted to be. But you can't let this one person stop you. There's so many women in this world, bro. Like, it's so many women in this world, Domo. It's not even funny. You know, because I'm going like, when I left old girl, I was hurt. You know, I broke up with my ex-wife for a whole entire year. Dated around. But that was bad because I really wasn't f fully healed. Then I found a female that became my girlfriend. And that didn't work out too well because in the back of my mind, I really didn't fully heal from my ex, my ex-wife. So after all this time, I'm formulating some type of feelings for this, for this, for this girlfriend. And it, it was okay at first, you know, but it's like, in the back of my mind, I always thought about my ex-wife. I always said, man, because when I said I do, when I married this lady, I felt like that was going to be it. I felt like, man, this is it. I'm going to die with this lady. And the crazy part about it is she's, she's 15 years older than me. And some people wouldn't think that worked, but we vibe so well. We vibe. And I'm attracted to older women because I have an older mindset. So... Anyways, you you not realizing when I actually got with this new female, which was my girlfriend for a year, in the back of my mind, I always thought about how my ex was doing, 
I, I thought like, hey, hopefully she's doing all right. I thought like she might be with some some guy or whoever because like I said, she was a she was not a lesbian. She was straight. She was heterosexual. And like I said, I just missed her because we had a good time together. The whole entire time we were in a relationship, we were majority with each other until the end. When we decided to get married, everything just went left. And it seemed like our bond that we had was broken because something else was added to the pot. Now, like I said, I have my daughter and my daughter wasn't with me. So it's like my energy that I normally am accustomed to wasn't there. So it was kind of hard for me to basically balance out the fact that I have a wife here, have a child somewhere else. And I'm so accustomed to my child being with me. Now, I had my mother that was there to help me with my daughter. But I would rather do a lot of things by myself because you only get that time once. You don't get that time ever again. And that child came from you. Even though I know you and Chrissy shares that child, that's your baby. That's your little man. That's your pride and joy. That baby looks just like you. That baby is a happy baby because of you. Because you are a happy person. Even though you exude happiness, that baby can still fill your heart. Your baby knows you. Your baby loves you. Your baby is your world. Your baby is going to make you proud one day. I can see it. I can see the little man's entire you know, what being is about to show you like, hey, this little, this little guy is really going to show you something. I'm telling you. You just need to get go ahead, take your time out for you. Take your time out with your baby. Grow with that baby. Forget hanging out. Forget these females because I had to do the same thing because I've never had a point in my life where I actually stopped and decided to say, hey, I need to stop dating people and focus on myself and my child. My focuses were all out of whack. Like, I always had a female. Like, once I start to date, I get rushed into a relationship. And from being rushed into a relationship, I, I, people want to control what's going on with me as far as when you're in a relationship. And me, I like to basically call my own shots. I'm too independent for a person to try to tell me what to do. So now when I decided to leave, just dating alone altogether, get me right, get Christ back in my life a little bit better than what I had prior to me, you know, dealing with females, and get everything back on a steady, you know, road, I feel so much better. Because like I said, I have not been single since I was 22. I'm 34. 34 years old. Normally, after I break up somebody, somebody is waiting in the rain to just basically date me. And that's been going on for the longest. And it's just best to basically take time out for yourself so you can figure out what you like. What makes you happy? You know what I'm saying? What makes your child happy so you can build a better bond with your child? Forget her. Forget, forget her as far as relationship wise. It's going to be hard to just basically do it overnight, but it takes time. But you will have to find different ways to take that energy that you're using to let people know your business because all they're doing is using it against you. These people don't care about you. Majority of the time they're making tea pages. And to talk about you or make you look bad. I'm trying to uplift you because I don't like seeing one of my sisters out here hurt. Because I hurt I, I hurt it. I hurt the way that you hurt when you hurt. Because I've been through it. And I know it's it's only gonna take time. It's only gonna take you basically healing your heart, healing your mind. You taking time out with your kid. You get to know your baby. You get to he getting to know you. He knows you, but he's gonna get to know you a little bit better because of the time you take out. And like I said, once you realize this, that you're taking time with your beautiful young son, it, it, it doesn't do anything but get better from here. You know, from the time that you decided, you and her decided to let each other go, you and Chrissy, boom, just let it go. Because like I said, there's too many beautiful women out here. And I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. There's beautiful women out here. But I know what I want. I know what I need. I know what 
I want around my child. I know what I don't want around my child. And if I know I can't have you around my child, you won't be there. Because if you don't respect yourself and then you're easy to do certain things, then that shows you you're not responsible enough to basically handle such a a very precious thing that is a part of me, which is my child. So, like I said, I love you, Domo, and you're a cool individual. I can tell from the vibe that you, you display when you're on YouTube, when you're on the camera. Don't let nobody get to you. You know what I'm saying? You're stronger than what everybody's displaying you to be. I can understand everybody cries. Shit, I cry. Like, you can cry. Who who gives a damn about what anybody says? You are in control of how you feel. So, at the end of the day, see about yourself. See about your child. Pray about it. It will get better with time. All right? Uh, this is AK Dynasty Fam Bam. I'm AK and I am signing out this thing.